Hello everyone, welcome back to the White Army. And today's lecture is on about uh, renal stones. Because in any exam, you will get one to two questions on renal stones. So let's understand by one table within five minutes about renal stones. So there are most common types of renal stone or calcium oxalate. So there are two types: calcium monohydrate and calcium dihydrate. So we'll divide in some subtopics like media and like what medium is there, like calcium or uh, sorry, acidic medium or basic medium appearance on x-ray microscopic appearance and management in recurrent cases and some miscellaneous points about that so you will get short short one to two questions in this table so let's understand so media so all the stones are occur in acidic medium except struvite stones struvite stones are infected stones infection occur in basic medium so let's write it here acidic medium also acidic medium alkaline acidic acidic okay so appearance on x-ray so all stones appear opaque in x-ray except uric acid stone okay so uric acid stone so let's write it here opaque I'll write radio radio opaque radio opaque radio opaque Lucent. So this is most important thing. Your microscopic appearance. I think mostly they are focusing on this one. So on calcium monohydrate, on microscope, it uh, appear like dumbbell shape. How will draw a dumbbell? Like this. Dumbbell shape. I'll write it here. Dumbbell shape. So calcium dihydrate appear like envelope shape. Like this envelopes it right here it's two white stone appear like coffin lead you if you know the coffin lead coffin lead and cystine stone cystine stone appear like hexagonal like diamond gunal uric acid stone uric acid stone varies in uh, appearance like rhomboid shape there are many like it's not specific so I'll write it here one rhomboid shape okay vary remember management in recurrent cases so for uh, calcium monohydrate uh, and calcium dihydrate mm, you can uh, in the current case we can do dietary management so we'll write it here dietary advice in both i'll write in a common dietary advices okay on management taken case in two white stone so in two white stone you have to remember acetohydroxymic acid i'll write it here Acido Acido Hydroxemic Acid Hydroxemic Acid Okay And for cystine stone D penicillamine D penicillamine D penicillamine And for uric acid stone Allopurinol so let's see some miscellaneous points so as calcium auxiliary are most common so we'll write in common point most common type okay so as dumbbell shape calcium monohydrate remember it's very hard stone dumbbell is hard so for that you can remember it's very hard stone so very hard stone and for calcium dihydrate you can remember as a miscellaneous point is it's also known as mulberry stone also known as mulberry stones 
and for a white stone you can remember like it is infected stone so it's associated with associated with uh, which infection mostly proteus infection so proteus like proteus mirabilis okay so th there are three four names of these stones if you first one name we wrote it here like two white stone it's also known as and it's also known as triple phosphate stone so write it here triple phosphate stones okay triple phosphate stone stagon calculi stagon calculi okay okay and calcium magnesium ammonium phosphate calcium magnesium ammonium phosphate okay. this is about stovite stone let's talk about cysteine stone so cysteine stone you can remember it's hexagonal right it's hexagonal like diamond and diamond is very strong very hard so this stone is also very hard so very hard stone okay and this is seen in cysteine urea so seen in cysteine urea The last is our uric acid stone uric acid stone is mostly seen in where the uric acid is high like which conditions seen in gout where the uric acid is high another is tumor lysis syndrome where tumor lies it releases uric acid so there will be uric acid cells so tumor lysis syndrome so this is all about uh, renal stones most common one Mostly you can get one or two questions sure from this table. Thank you.